Okay, time of materials are a great thing to track uh, with a barcode scanner. Standard Time does that. Uh, that is the basics that you see in some of the other videos. This video is going to be a little more advanced. We're going to get into tracking other kinds of information above and beyond the basics. So if you haven't seen those other videos, go check those out. Um, but think about the things that you might want to track uh, in your manufacturing assembly process uh, that are above and beyond the very basics. Things like maybe a building, uh, assembly line, product line, machines, other details of your product that um, we've never even thought of, that you want to set up and be prompted for when you're scanning to start the timer. So you will have to scan those required items before the timer will even start. So let's go ahead and take a look, see how that's done. So over in standard time, we'll press the F4 key to open the barcode window. And in the lower right corner, you see a button that only administrators can see, required scans, and that is how you set up the requirements for gathering additional information. You can see that I've got three of these. These are all fictional, building, machine, and material. And so presumably out on the shop floor in manufacturing, you have employees who are collecting this information. Uh, they first would collect the building that they're working in, the machine that they're operating, and then the material that they're using, again. Just sort of a fictional scenario here, but each one of these has fields that we're going to want to take a look at. First of all, there's the name and the prompt. So that's the information that the end user actually sees that tells them what to scan. And then you've got the scan order, in which order you want to see these pop up on the end user screen. Then you have conditions that govern whether it actually pops up. You could, for instance, assign these to users. So some users, you want to collect the information. Other people, you don't have to. They're working in different divisions or areas. Same thing with project, category, and task. So you may want to collect certain information just for one project or for a certain kind of work or a task that you're working on. Simply put those in, and this will pop up only during uh, those scenarios. The last field is the time log field in which the actual scanned data is going to go into. So if you look at these three, you'll see that this time log field is different for each of these. You can set up custom fields in the time logs or just use these text fields to put the information in. And again, when the end user actually scans, the value that they scan goes into that field in the time log. So you can see that I have three of these set up. You should be sensitive to the fact that the end user is going to have to scan a lot of stuff. They're probably already going to have to scan their username, a project, a task. So they may be up to three scans already before they even reach yours. So limit this to maybe two to four would be uh, probably a good thing. But again, you collect whatever information you need to collect. And so this is just an idea of how they might look. So let's go ahead and uh, just click OK and then start scanning to see what the end user would experience. So they're going to start by scanning their name first. They're probably going to then scan a project and then a task. Okay, so the timer would ordinarily start here, but we've got some requirements. In this case, we're going to scan the building. And so you see the name in the prompt there. So let's go ahead and put some information in. Now we're up to the machine. Again, another scan and then the material. So we've completed the requirements, and so you see a new time log here in the background, uh, and you see that the timer has started. So two indicators that the timer is running. Let's go ahead and click close, click on this time log, and then you can see in these text fields that we talked about earlier where the actual scans occur. So now that you've collected this information, you can run reports on this. You can get graphs and find out how much time you spent on each of the different things that you're collecting. In this case, uh, how much time we spend in each building, how much time on each machine, how much time on each kind of material. Now you do have the ability also to scan what we call expense templates for uh, supplies, uh, materials in the manufacturing process. But in this case, I just put it in here as a um, fictional example. But anyway, you can get all the reports you need just off of this information, plus the actual work, 
uh, the project, uh, the category, the task, lots of information here that you can run reports on to uh, get the metrics you need. So again, press F4, barcode window pops up, then press the required scans button. And then here you can set up whatever requirements you have to collect the information you need.